Okay, this is Ringwalk Media in association with Bartley Carter Racing. This is Tom Welland. We're down here at the top tier show. Johnny's got a good run coming up tonight, hasn't he? Yeah, it's the first one live on the zone. Nice to see you in my neck of the woods as well. I'm only 10 minutes away from here, so I'm always in your neck of the woods. I'm always up there. Um, but yeah, it's good, good, good to see you here. Johnny's got a great show on tonight, live on the zone. Got a 50 50 fight. Looking forward to seeing it. Yeah, literally about 10 minutes down the road from your house, right? Quite literally, yeah. It took me 15 minutes to get here, so easy. Lucky sod. <laughs> I'll tell you what, it's, you, it's a long old drive for us, but you know what? It's going to be worth it because the boxing, you know, we've seen some really good fights on Johnny's card tonight. Who have you got your eye on? Um, I like, obviously, I like the Laidley fight. The Laidley fight will be good. Um, well, Emmanuel Butterjee. Uh, you've got Lloyd, Lloyd Germain and Elliot Well. That'll be a good fight. Um, there's a couple of good prospects that are on as well. A couple of making their debut, I think. You've got Lily Winch, who's going second, uh, 2 and 0 as well. And then you've got. Uh, Toomey Phillips, you've got Kate McLaren, it's a stacked card, you can't really, you can't even pin it down to who's, like, who's one to watch, it's a great card from start to finish. Reeling them all off mate, you're going to be here all night, aren't you? Oh, yeah, quite literally, there's loads of fights on, they're all great fights, there's not one fight to miss there, so, Dezona got, uh, Dezona in for a right, right treat tonight with this card. Well listen, let's talk about you, because you love that, that's your favourite subject, isn't it, right? Um, got, a, got a great, great fight coming up, you'll call very shortly. Yeah, that's it. Three weeks. Um, September 27th, back on Charlie's undercard again. Um, listen, it's going to be a great night of boxing. We've got Clay Watson as well. Um, I think Grant Dennis and... Remind me. Who was he fighting? I can't remember. It's a good fight he's in, though. Yes. Jermaine Brown. Jermaine Brown. Yeah, that's a good fight. Gemma from Let's Go. What's happening? Um, yeah, you've got them. There's now you've got to behave. I oh, know. Now I've got to behave because my manager's my manager here now. <laughs> um, yeah, no. It's a great card that I'm on, so it's a pleasure to be on it as well. And, you know, your career, you've always said you don't want to rush, but... You are rushing because of the quality that you're producing. How are you feeling that it's going this year? Um, I think this year's gone, obviously, to plan. It's probably gone better to plan, if I'm being honest. Um, we've had great fights. We was gonna, it was going to be all journeyman. Obviously, I, start, I had my debut when I was young. It was going to be a learning year, and it still is a learning year, but with opponents that weren't really going to fire back, and now that they are firing back, I'm learning more and more and more. And you're seeing the best out of me that you're going to see. I think the better opponent that I'm in with, the better you'll see out of me. But this year, to, this year so far has gone absolutely perfect. And uh, we're looking forward to next year. And these last couple of fights this, this, this year is all about setting me up for next. Um, and if we can squeeze the title in this year, that would be that'd be lovely. If not, then definitely early next year. It'd be a bit greedy, that, wouldn't it? It would be a bit greedy. But listen, greed, greed in this sport, especially when you're... Uh, you know, it is. It's hard with titles. Because once you step up, you can't come back down. And... Being so young, if you step up too quickly, you can't come back down and then learn. You sort of, if you if you make a mistake, that's it, you know. So we'll listen, we'll wait and see, but we're just taking our time and picking the right fights. One thing I like, and especially was apparent in your last fight, is your ring IQ. Now you're only a young man, but your ring IQ is certainly improving every single fight. And you know your round management, yeah, from that ring IQ is helping you now to produce much, much better boxing. Yeah, it is, and it's, it's one of those things that I've had to work on, because when I was an amateur, I was, I was known for taking a lot of shots, I was known for sort of taking two to give four, or taking one to give two, and we've sort of ironed that out a little bit as a pro. Now, being hit in smaller gloves, and being hit by proper, like, like grown men and strong strong fighters, you can't take that one to give one, you know, you, you've got to miss that one to give one, so um, we, we've worked a lot on that in the gym, and we've worked a lot on movement and defence and all that sort of thing, and... Like I say, you've seen you've seen quite quite a lot of me now, and you've seen not not the best of me yet, because the more that I step up, the better you'll see. Um, but you've definitely seen the improved Tom Welland, and every fight's an improvement. Well, let's just talk a little bit about the card quickly. Wasman putting on a, a great card as always, live on Channel Five, and uh, you've got two really good fights alongside your own. Um, Charlie Edwards main event. It's brother versus brother, isn't it? It is. It's quite. It'll be quite interesting that fight week. I think. Um, maybe for like the press, the press days and the media days, it'll be quite interesting to see what they say about each other. But listen, it's good to be part. It's good to be involved in it. I'm quite looking forward to that fight. If I'm being honest, um, I like watching Thompson Sombra as well. He's an exciting fighter. Charlie's an exciting fighter. Um, they both got pedigree, so we'll see. <laughs> we'll, we'll see how they get on. I'm not going to ask you for a, a, a prediction because all you boxers just sit on the fence, so we won't. But uh, Chloe Watson versus Jasmina Zabakoshna. Not necessarily the fight everyone thought was going to happen. It was going to be Macy Rose. But Z Jasmina did incredibly well, beat Macy Rose. And now the two sparring partners are taking on each other at the home of, of boxing. Well, this is it. This is, this is it. It's sort of one of those things. You take, a, you take a slip like Macy did, and unfortunately you sort of lose your shot. Um, and that's just the, it's the, it's the cool way of boxing. But I think Jasmina looked great. I think Maisie looked good that night as well, but she just she just fell short. Um, but if Jasmina fights the way fights Clay Watson the way she fought Jasmina, 
I think it's going to be one cracking fight. If I'm being honest, you've got is it 10, 10 or twelve rounds, whichever it is. Yeah. You've got a great fight there with um with both fighters. We've got a bit bit of a clashing styles. Um, Chloe likes she's like a box fighter. She's she's smart with it, but she has to dig in. She'd have to dig in. So, um, I think they both got a tough fight in their rounds, and the best women will win. It's going to be an intriguing fight because they know each other so well. They've shared over a hundred rounds of sparring together, so it's going to be that element of surprise, isn't it? Well, this is it. You've got. Two sparring partners that have probably done hundreds of rounds of each other. Um, they know they know each other like the back of their hand, and I don't know. You you, you could you, you see one of two fights. I think you either see one where it's a bit a bit a bit chessy for the start. So someone makes a move and doesn't want to make a mistake, and then the other one will be like, "Yeah, I've got ya." Or you'll see an absolute scrap, and I think you'll see the latter. To be honest. Listen, there's also a very very big week coming up. Riyadh season, Wembley, and uh, some big names out. Of course, uh, the main event. Anthony Joshua versus Daniel Dubois. And uh, you're looking at exactly what I was looking at there. <laughs> uh, we won't tell anyone what that was. <laughs> um, but, yeah, listen, what do you make of that main event? There's so many split opinions. Everyone's trying to second guess who's going to win. What's your thoughts on the fight? Do you know what? This is, again, it's a hard one to call. I'm not going to sit on the fence. I'm going to say I'm going to say Joshua will win. But, however, it does all depend on how Daniel Dubois reacts to Joshua's power. Um We've seen Daniel Dubois, when he gets hit hard sometimes, he's a bit like, oh, I don't really want a bit of that. Or when it doesn't go his way, sometimes he, he doubts himself. If he gets hit by Joshua, he's gonna one, he's going to really know. And two, he's going to be like, shit, what do I do with that? Um, and I think if if he takes a backward step, Joshua's going to get right on him and he's he really is going to stick it on him and make him work. Or you could see a Daniel Dubois go, do you know what? I can, li I can live with that and then just walk forward. And just have it off of him and then just chin him like he did out how, how, how he did with Hergovic. Um But I think it's a really interesting fight. I don't think you can call it. I wouldn't be betting on it if I was anyone. <laughs> I wouldn't be betting on it. Um, but I, I, yeah, I'm quite interested. The undercard's a great card as well. You've got Josh Kelly, Liam Smith. Um, who else you got? You got I'd say one of the best ones. I was going to say Kakachi versus uh, uh, Josh Josh Warrington. Both of them have been two two-time world champions now, of course. Um, I mean, that is that the loser goes home, the winner goes on to Saudi again. Well, this is the thing. I think obviously Josh Warrington's got something to a lot more to gain than Kakachi has now. I think to be honest, I think Kakachi's obviously a massive underdog against Cordina, proved the quality of fighter that he was against Cordina, and now that people have seen that against Joe, um, they're sort of expecting the same against Warrington. But you got to remember, Josh is coming up to super feather. Um, it's going to be the smaller man. Um, he he's probably has filled out at the weight, um, but we'll just have to wait and see. I think, I think, it's, I think that's one of the closer fights uh, on the other card. If I'm being honest, again, another one you can't really call. But every fight's a 50-50 fight, and then we have season cards. And listen, what a great night of boxing again. Well, listen, it's always good to see you. I know you're going to go off and watch some of the fights now on uh, on the top tier card. He's done a really good job here, hasn't he? Johnny's always done a good job. He's, he's you, you look at one side and you think, you know what? With the venue that he's got, you can't do much better. Um, and then he just delivers and then delivers and then delivers more and more and more. And do you know what? Fair play to Johnny. He's got the zone now as well. Hopefully that will put him on the map a little bit more. Um, listen, so so happy for Johnny and I hope the show goes really well. And um, listen, we'll see better and bigger and better top tier shows in the future, I'm sure. Well, listen, we will see you in three weeks' time. York Hall, sweating our tits off because it's boiling there. Um, but listen, best of luck, mate. And uh, we can't wait to see how you get on. Thank you very much.